Hey friends, welcome again. So I am uh, hopeful that all of you are liking these videos and uh, we have covered a significant portion so far. We have seen what quadratic equations are and uh, you know how what are the methods of solving quadratic equations and in the last session we discussed uh, about the nature of roots of quadratic equation. So this particular session is based on the previous one only and we are trying to solve a few questions based on the concepts which we learned in the last few sessions now the question here is determine the nature of the roots of the following quadratic equations right so we learned three cases in the last you know uh, session and now we are going to apply them and uh, just to have a quick recap what did we discuss last time we discussed that there are three cases case one when discriminant that is b square minus 4ac of any quadratic equation is greater than 0 then we have two distinct two distinct real roots real roots that was the nature of the roots and then case 2 was when d is equal to 0 then we said um, two equal real roots two equal real roots that means roots are real but they are same they are equal and third was if d is less than 0 then we have two non real non real or complex complex roots right this is what we learned so far so now we are going to apply this uh, concept so please keep this in mind and let's see how we can find out the nature of roots for this particular given equation right so uh, you know now uh, in the in the first case a is 2 so a is 2 b is 1 and c is minus 1 isn't it so this is uh, the value of a b and c in the case in the first case so hence let's calculate b square minus 4 ac the discriminant d is equal to b square minus 4 ac which is nothing but 1 square so b is 1 and minus 4 times 2 times minus 1 which is clearly 1 plus 8 which is 9 which is clearly greater than 0 so hence we get case 1 case 1 that is in this case d is greater than 0 so we will be having two distinct distinct means two different so in this case it will be two distinct real roots okay now one thing you can notice here uh, what is to be noticed if you see if any of a and c is negative guys yep if any of a and c is negative then then the roots will definitely be real you understand so if any of a and c only one but if a and c are of or if a and c are of opposite signs opposite signs if a and c are of opposite signs then clearly b square minus 4 ac will be always greater than 0 isn't it why because if a and c are opposite sign then a and c is negative and if a and c is negative ac is negative then minus 4 ac is positive so hence it will always be greater than 0 right so this is a good trick to remember if a either of a and c or basically if a and c are of opposite signs then the roots are real correct no now let's go to the second question the second question says the second question is 2x square 2x square plus 5x plus 5 is equal to 0 this is the equation now clearly if you see a and c are of same sign so we'll have to check the discriminant a is 2 b is 5 and c is also 5 so let's find out discriminant value so discriminant value d is b square minus 4 ac which is equal to 5 square minus 4 times 2 times 5 is equal to 25 minus 40 right which is minus 15 correct which is less than 0 so hence if it is less than 0 you know what is it case 3 case 3 is two non real roots are there non real roots two non real roots okay sorry you can say 
the roots uh, re uh, real roots do not exist real roots do not do not exist this is how it's very simple you have to just remember uh, this formula this is a crucial formula so hence so d is going to b square minus 4ac if you remember this find this greater than 0 two distinct real roots equal to 0 equal roots and uh, less than 0 non real roots okay this is how you have to solve this these kind of these kind of problems